Hey guys, my name is Tana and welcome to my channel. If you are following me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you will know that that is my new project E36. Yes, number two. Uh, project number one is still ongoing, the 318, and this is the 328. Uh, let's go have a look. I have to show you from here because this is probably the best angle or distance to show you at. If I go any closer, uh, it doesn't look that great. I'll tell you why shortly. Let's go have a look. Here we have the 328 E36. You know what? From pictures, the car does look very nice. The white does stand out. I do love the vibe of the whole 90s white. And the body kit, some might hate it, some might like it. I actually think it's not bad. You know, it's not uh, original, but you know what? It's not half bad. The lights, mm, I don't know. But yeah, let's go have a look on what have I bought here. Uh, how bad it is or how good it is. Let's start with the bumper. The bumper is pretty bad guys, you can see there, uh, lots of cracks here and there, uh, this needs a whole new paint job obviously, pretty bad, you can see over here, the grill, it's all cracked up, you gotta basically uh, have a new uh, one uh, done or plastered, the lights obviously aren't original, these are aftermarket lights, not a fan of those but, but yeah I could probably sell them and get uh, new ones, uh, the badge is missing, oh you're missing the BMW badge, the most important thing on this car. Uh, what else? Let's go on the side. These rims are not original, obviously, uh, but you know what? They are okay, 17 inch. I probably will find stock looking rims for this. Uh, the side, the side skirt, hmm. It says M performance, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's interesting how he's done this. I haven't seen this design elsewhere, but it does look interesting. A lot of bondo there as you can see a lot of uh, uh screws all over screws here and screws everywhere uh, even the front you can see the bottom cover is missing which is fine i guess um but yeah uh the side the side seal for the door it's a piece of stainless steel aluminium or stainless i'm not sure but it sort of goes across interesting you got to find rubber pieces for those uh some vents here which i guess they are vent looking <laughs> But other than that, it's white. That's all I can tell about it. Uh, the top roof, they put some tape on it, but as you can see there, ooh, it is a whole new paint job. I think this is paint actually, not even tape. Some cheap paint they put in there, okay? Um, let's go to the boot cap. I got a green cap, look at that. Okay, uh, up in the boot, let me open this up. Yeah, alarm, well, alarm is there, let's get the alarm. Woo. Yeah, the boot seemed okay, except when I opened the back, lots of rust here. So some at some point uh, in this past, uh, as Con would say, the uh, waterways here must be clogged up and water got in. Uh, the whole thing need to be sanded down and done up, but I don't see any uh, holes, but just some, some moisture and uh, rust build up there. The bodywork, hmm, interesting. It gets worse inside. I really mean worse. So once you get inside, the seats are not original. They have wrapped them with this cheap looking PVC vinyl. Need to get new seats for those. Uh, door cuts, are, they are there, but they're missing these uh, covers here. And uh, everywhere I see there are these screws, uh, tack screws, they have uh, kind of put it through. Probably get find new door cuts for those. Glove box works. It's amazing for E36, but this one works. Okay. Um, condition, condition, condition. This one isn't it. But yeah, it needs, it needs to be cleaned up. Look at that. Look how dirty it is. It's extremely dirty. Aircon works. Radio works. Uh, this OBD uh, display unit doesn't. Um, other than that, you know what? It's okay. The owner was uh, kind enough to give me bottles of water to drive back to KL. So there you go. So far, it hasn't overheat, it was fine, but uh, he's never taken this on a long distance drive. 
from Johor to KL, so he gave me one. So nice man, nice man. Uh, one of the worst thing about this car is these keys over here. So if you can see there, the original key here got stuck. Can't come out. So it's modified it and put a keyhole here. So I'm gonna find a way to take the key out and find new parts for this, cover this up and uh, bring it back to stock. The idea for this car is, it'll go back to stock. I wanna save or rescue this. I'm doing it with a friend of mine, Mr. Mark Francis. Uh, we're gonna get this restored, done it properly. Maybe even put a new exhaust on it, uh, make it sound uh, clean and, uh, and yeah. This is video one of the project 328E36. And uh, so far, I like what I see. A lot of work, but this is what we do. Now, before I go any further, and uh, you guys follow us for the uh, tour of making this back to right, people ask, why can I get a project car? Why not buy a car all done up? Oh, look there. The headliner. I'm not sure you can see it. Okay. Why not buy a car all done up? But for me, doing up this car is part of the journey. You know, it's part of the journey, part of the fun. It's, it's fun to pay a little money, uh, get these cars and uh, do them up, have fun in the process, go to see a mechanic and do stuff with it. And also these cars, I think, deserve to be put back in its proper place, you know, like a nice, clean looking example. And when I saw this, this needed a lot of help, a lot of love, and I wanted to uh, spend my time, my energy with this. I won't make money out of this, but I'll gain experience, I'll make content. Uh, you guys can, can follow me for that journey. And I'll do a videos about this 318 and 328. So you can compare the 318 and 328, how they compare, how they perform, the performance, maybe even do a drag race with the cars. But yeah, that's the idea. Stay tuned. More videos coming on the 328 and the 318. And uh, it's going to be fun. Cheers, guys.